Last week, we were in the kitchen adding a bit of summer decor, and we even snuck in a little DIY project creating this wall plate rack. But today, we're going to be focusing on the sunroom. Hi, my name is Becca, and welcome to my channel. Here's our little sunroom set right off of our kitchen. And over the last eight years, it's had a few different looks. Here's what it looked like when we first moved in. Manchester tan walls that I eventually painted white, blue, nice coastal vibe. Then I covered the walls in shiplap. Then I decided to turn it into a dining area, but somehow it always goes back to being a sitting room to now back to being a dining area. I did recently bring these cabinets back into this room. They've been in our great room for quite some time. They were angled in the back corner. They're the Billy bookcases from Ikea, and I just like to add molding and different handles to attempt or try to give them more of a custom look. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the settee in here. This little piece has traveled pretty much all over our house, although it's primarily been in our foyer. It was super budget friendly and really comfortable. We've had this table for several years as well, and while it does have a leaf that will make it larger, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in here without it. I feel like it fits the scale of the settee a bit better. I decided to keep the faux hide rug in here as well. I just really like the shape of it for this room. I like the color, it kind of brightens it up a bit and it adds interest yet doesn't cover up the entire floor. And then let's just chat lighting for a second. This chandelier is usually a lot lower. You can kind of see the chain wrapped around it up at the top. Our neighbor and friend Colt last year had helped us raise it to make room for the Christmas tree and we just never lowered it. So since we're gonna be bringing out Christmas trees before we know it, we're just gonna keep it up there and just leave it as it is. Now that these pieces are in place, it's time to add a bit more seating. A summary look I went with the white slipcover chairs at the head and the foot and then to break up the fabric a bit between the settee and the chairs I added a small wood bench then of course we had to add some pillows let's do something on the table. I'm gonna do two different looks in this video. The first is going to be a very simple, everyday table centerpiece, and then I'll do a tablescape. So that's my version of just a table centerpiece. You've got your basket that holds your plates and your stemware and bowls, kind of as if you're going to set the table. But now I'm just gonna take all of that away and create a really simple tablescape.
let's take a closer look. So I mentioned I went with the white slipcover chairs just for a fresh summery look. And then I chose the blue and white striped pillows. I love that those are indoor outdoor so they provide for easy cleanup when I need it. Little closer look at the table runner. I like the detail on it. it just gives it a little texture and I like that it ties in with the settee. Now the play settings. I started with these white chargers, which admittedly are plastic. I slid the napkins over just so you could see the design on the plates a bit better. I did not have enough of that pattern to go around the table. So when that happens, I will use the four in the middle and then different place settings or plates at the head and the foot of the table. Then in the middle, I just filled a simple vase with faux wildflowers and eucalyptus. And then I snagged these cute little containers from the kitchen. And then to bring color down to the bench, I added this blue and white quilt. I love that it's reversible, but I went with the white on the outside just so it wasn't so overwhelming. I do wish it was a long bench cushion, but I think this works. Then in the cabinet, added a simple vase up top. I don't know if you could tell when I was doing it, but that is a little wreath. And then I just put the plates right in the middle. So I've got a touch of greenery and a little splash of blue. And then more pictures below to balance the one up above. That about wraps it up for our summer sunroom turned breakfast room. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. And before you go, I do hope that you'll consider sharing this video and subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.